you know, there are many um, centers that really focus on multidisciplinary care like we do here at Mass General. We have a large team of congenital heart doctors, surgeons, interventionalists, imaging, um, people who are really focused on the care of these patients and, we really, and you know, the coordinated care, multidisciplinary care really provides for optimal long-term management and, and follow-up. So smaller hospitals may not have an adult congenital heart specialist locally to them, so identifying where there's a congenital heart center, um, you know, in the community and, and, and sometimes even communicating with them either electronically or via Skype or however it may be to really get the recommendations of um, you know, experts in the field can certainly be helpful. I think these guidelines talk, or these, um, this statement, the scientific statement talks a little bit about timing of referral and when patients should be referred to a congenital heart center. And certainly we, um, you know, the con in the congenital heart community, when we work with physicians who practice in smaller centers, we really try our best to ensure that patients can have most of their care done locally and only come in um, to you know a larger center when they need a specialized test or a specialized you know surgical intervention or catheter procedure. So really, it has to be a collaborative effort between the local doctors and the doctors at, um, at uh, you know a, a larger um, academic center to care for these patients best. You know, it depends on the type of problem. So. Um, you know, for example, if, uh, you know, patients with, um, for example, tetralogy of flow, a lot of the issues that may develop later in life are similar issues in both men and in women, um, issues that may be related to leaky valves that could develop later, um, or, uh, you know, changes in the heart size or, or function, those need to be screened sort of equally in both men and women. So we're seeing a significant rise in, in, in the weight of the general population. We're certainly seeing that in the adult congenital heart population. Many of these patients have been told not to do much exercise earlier in life because they had a heart condition. And now we really have a rise in the amount of metabolic syndrome, overweight patients, patients with diabetes or insulin resistance, high blood pressure. So weight-related medical problems um, that certainly superimposed on their congenital heart defect is, um, is not healthy for them. So we run a health and wellness clinic where we really really focus on healthy lifestyle, safe level of exercise, healthy eating habits, healthy um, uh, uh, sleep um, habits so that patients can really, um, you know, um, take care of themselves as best, as best they can. It's different really, our recommendations are different for every patient and the underlying heart problem that they have, but certainly focusing on, you know, weight reduction and, and um, healthy living is a critically important, um, is a critically important intervention and educating the community about the need for, um, you know, for weight loss is important.